favorite restaurant? Um, I really like um, like Olive Garden oh. or Adriana Cafe, like oh, all this. Italian food. No, 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 no. no? Lupe Tortilla. Oh, I don't like Mexican food. Really? No. I hate the Italian. Ugh. What else do you like? Um, maybe we could go like. Don't say Chinese because I hate. I love Chinese. That's exactly no. what I was gonna say. No, 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 no. no. I don't think anything. Than that. Ugh. Hey, does anyone want to go to Bobo Garden? <gasps> yeah. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about estimating quotients. And when you're estimating quotients, I want you to keep the vocabulary term in your head, compatible numbers. So we're going to be using that term a lot. So you need to know that compatible numbers are numbers that are easy, easy to compute mentally. So when we're estimating, we want to make our math as easy as possible. So let's start with a division problem of 2,529 divided by 6. Now, I'm not looking for an actual answer, I just want an estimate, so we're going to use compatible numbers to give ourselves a good range of um, where our answer should be. So the first thing I want you to do is to put a box around your first two digits of your number. Okay, This number is called the dividend, so we're going to box the first two digits of our dividend. And we're going to think about what is a number that is close to 25 that would be compatible with 6. So think about your multiples of 6. And the number 24 might come to your head first. So we're going to take the number 24, it's close to 25, and then we're going to add two zeros behind it. So we're rounding 2,529 to 2,400. So then we're going to divide that by 6. Now my original number was 25, but now put a box around 24. Okay. Our new divisor of 24 is easily divisible by 6. 24 divided by 6 is, that's right, 4. Okay, and then we have two zeros at the end of our divisor, so we're just going to rename those zeros over here to make 400. So our estimate is about 400. So let's do the same thing, but a different way. 2,529 divided by 6. So now we're going to follow the same steps, but we're going to find an estimate that is rounding up instead of rounding down like we did this time. So think of, first put your box around 25. So think of a multiple of 6 that's close to 25 where we would be rounding up. That would be 30. And then we're going to add our two zeros to round up to 3,000. 3,000 divided by 6 is easily um, easier to compute than our original question. So let's think of 30 divided by 6 is 5. And then we're going to rename our two zeros after our 5. So here we have an underestimate and an overestimate. So we know that the answer to 2,529 divided by 6 is going to be between 400 and 500. And that gives us a good estimate. <laughs> so now on the left hand side of your notebook I want you to record these three questions and using the same steps as we did on the right, I want you to estimate the answers to each of these questions. <laughs> 